hey guys in testing we got to download the files right now it could be using a web page and there's a link somewhere you click on that the file gets downloaded the other way is you make an api call and you get the file in your response that's great but hold on i mean that is just a part of the overall process now as a tester it's equally important to check that the file that we have downloaded is the correct file or not isn't it so we download the file and then we run our assertion against that file okay so i've created this very project when you would find how to deal with the second part the second part is to run your assertions against that file okay now there are some prerequisites before we move on so open my youtube channel okay go to the playlist and then you would find this node.js basic just open this playlist guys and i recommend you to watch part 13 14 15 and 16 now let me quickly walk you through so in part 13 what i have done is how are you going to extract the information basically the content from a pdf document okay second one is at times you have images and in images you have the text for example the scan documents okay now how are you going to extract the text from those images All right so there's a technique called as optical character recognition so i've covered that in part 14. in part 15 i have touched base the different scenarios uh, related to microsoft words for example you know then the information might be in the body in the headers in the footers in the text boxes so i've covered all of that in this video and part 16 is there are times when you know we get the images and we got to compare the images all right and for your future reference i've also created this another project on github which contains the complete code repository for part 13 14 15 and 16. now the another prerequisite for this video is part 28 of this video series when i've covered cy.task so guys I again recommend if you have not watched the prerequisites then go and check these out first okay so let's start with the file download process so open the cypress documentation go to the plugins and this is the plugin that we have to download cypress download file let's open that so the first step is we have to add this module to our project and for that we just have to execute this command npm install cypress dash download file so open the terminal and execute this command okay i've already done that and hence i see this entry in package.json now the next step is in cypress support command.js i have to add this line in there so you open support command.js and the line is in here let me close this next step so in cypress plugin index.js we have to add this stuff okay so we are first bringing in that module and then in module that export we are adding a task with the name download file now guys why we have this task in here the thing is guys when we are downloading the file right so we are downloading a file to our operating system isn't it now most of the cypress commands they get executed within the browser okay but whenever we have to work with anything outside the browser, be it the web or the operating system operations, okay, we have to go for creating a task. All right. So let me open plugin index or JS. Okay. So that is that line. Okay. Then in the module.export, I also have get image text and compare images besides what's already there. In the documentation of that plugin okay now this particular task get image text so guys what are we doing so download file module is an act operation meaning you're going to download the file onto your file system right now you have to write a code to access that file okay and that file is there in your file system okay it's outside the browser and hence we are creating this task now this task get image text is going to use the tesseract.js library and this like with the help of this library we are going to implement ocr and with the help of that ocr we are going to extract the text from the image okay next one is compare images 
okay so what are we doing in here so we are saying that hey you download the stuff from the internet paste it to my file system then add another file in my project which is again into the file system and then compare these two files and for that we are using this library gem okay now i have chosen these two most complex scenarios because reading text from the text file or from the pdf or from the document are still straightforward and i've already created videos on all three of these in my uh, node.js playlist okay all right guys so let me quickly walk you through my function but i still recommend you go and watch out those videos and check out the github repository now there is one difference that you will find in here and in the repo for node.js file extraction and that is guys in there you know i have used the three things as the parameters but why i can't do so in here See, the thing is when we are going to use this cy dot task when we have to pass in multiple parameters okay we have to pass those in the form of object okay so hence from my test case i'm going to pass this object which will contain these three properties and in here i'm simply destructuring those and then the remaining logic is same what i have shown in my node.js videos okay now at the end this method is going to return me guys the text okay so all the text being extracted from the image now the next one is compare images so guys in here i'm comparing two images based on their hash value distance and the difference okay and at the end i'm returning this boolean value so if the file one is matching with file two we say okay hey they are the same file though remember they are two separate file on the physical machine okay but their content is matching in a hence we say hey these are same files okay if the content is not matching we return false all right okay guys so there is still one more big problem in here now the problem is so we say cy dot download file okay and when we do that manually what happens is the file starts downloading it takes some time before it's downloaded fully now when do you want to run your assertion you want to run your assertion when the file is fully downloaded now good news is guys the module or the package that we are using to download the file takes care of that so let me show you so i open node modules and cypress dash download file and in here you have this lib module and in that you have this add plugin okay guys so in this add plugin the most important line for us is this okay so before this function would return anything okay it is ensuring that the file is downloaded completely to your file system using this sync method okay so in your act step okay you would say cy dot download you provide the link you also provide where do you want to download the file and would you also like to give some name to the downloaded file okay and this call will ensure that the file is downloaded and then you are going to run the task that we have created in the plugin index.js file. Fair enough. Let me also show you the other file we have. So, guys, we are going to say cy.download file, and this is going to accept these arguments. Okay, so the URL, right? The directory where you want to download. So, why this? See, if you do not provide it, right, every browser has got a different location. But if you provide this static value, it does not matter on which browser you are doing it. And we are going to create a directory right at the root level of our project. And we are going to download those files in there. Then file name will give you the control over what name you want to give to the file. And then you can use that in your session. All right. So that's how this command is designed. Okay. So the first step is we are going to act, meaning we are going to download that. So let's open the documentation one more time and we have this command in here and this is the URL guys so I've already opened that so this is the image that we are going to download okay so let us copy this whole thing and 
write this in here now like i said once this is done okay so in the then we are going to re perform rest of the operation we are going to perform our assertion inside this then block so we write the callback which does not have any argument and now in here we are going to write our assertion using cy.task so we say cy.task name of the task is guys get image text okay then we have to pass in that object which contains the file name the language and the logger object so we just say file name is going to be this right so my downloads and then example.jpg this is the file from which i want to extract the text so i say my downloads forward slash example dot jpg then the language if i open this image the language is this is an example image so guys this is the copy of the image that i have stored at the root of our project okay so it contains this is an example image so it is in english so i say lang is english and then the logger i say false so if you want to log the events which are being fired while extracting that information you know from that image you say logger is equal to true i don't want that so i just say logger is equal to false all right so this is going to return me the text right so once the text is extracted then i say the argument to the callback would be the text okay the extracted text and then i run my assertion it's very simple i say expect and this text must contain this is an example image all right it's that simple so let's understand this one more time that plugin will provide you the act step meaning you are acting on this url and downloading that okay once the download is complete then in this then block you are writing your assertion using the task that you have created the task is get image okay now it reads this image from this location okay and then extract the value from it and then the extracted value we are using in our assertion and checking that the text all the extracted text must contain this statement okay so if i just save this and i also need to change the skip to only and now save it again let's run it okay so the test execution is started and guys this is going to take time this process is going to take time so a tip uh, at this point of time i'd like to give to you see if you are working on a lengthy document okay there are chances that cy.task will time out so make sure that you enhance the timer out appropriately okay so fine this works in our case uh, let us provide in something else which does not exist in that image so we say hello world save it and let's see and this time it should fail okay so this is fail because hello world does not exist in the extracted text great guys so let us set this to skip and move on to our next case when we are checking the complete image this time okay so the act step will remain the same and then we have this then block and in here again the logic is very much same so you say cy.task okay and this time you say compare images and guys one more thing so you see the my downloads folder is now created and underneath that you have this example so let us delete this and continue with writing a case so in here also we have to provide in an object so we say file name one and file name two would be this expected image okay so we say expected image dot jpg now this is going to return as a boolean value 
okay in terms of whether they are the same file or not now we have to use the then block and this is going to give us boolean so we say is matching okay and write this call back now guys it's very simple so we say expect is matching to be true now see we are downloading this file from the internet and this expected to is already there in my project okay so you see expected image is already there in my project okay that's how we are going to run our assertion so let me just save this and okay so it has been passed so if I provide this image okay now it should fail so I in here I change it to different image let me save this okay so it's not matching and it's correctly failed very nice one last thing which I would like to show you so guys every time you run this solution you have to ensure that the previously downloaded files are deleted right and already covered that in my mocha some report so you just have to write one more script like so you say if this folder exists then remove this recursively okay so i hope you like this thank you so much